Hi, my name is Ludwig. Hi, my name is Paul. We're the directors of the feature film Volatile. Welcome to our Kickstarter campaign. To give you an idea of what this film is about, we asked some of the actors and the writer to give us their feelings on the project, why they came on board and what makes it so special for them. Really hope you enjoy. I guess as an actor, the first thing you look at in any project is uh, how you feel about the script. And it, it you know, I, I, over my career, I read an awful lot of scripts, and this one just jumped out as a extremely well written and um, intelligent script. It, it ticked so many boxes. I love the, the the characters, the 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 genuineness of the character. There was nothing that jarred at all. The the script is a very simple, but very powerful and. Um, beautiful tale and um, it, it kind of understands what the human condition is about when people um, are hard done to or when people find themselves in a, a moment of crisis in life. I was working as a nightclub band so I suppose if I go back, back a bit further I had a massive depression I got very depressed I got this huge creative urge but nowhere to put it every time I tried to be creative all the people around me would take up take out their baseball bats and batter it like a beach seal. You know, people like me, working class kids, uneducated, are not supposed to be creative. So I drew a pyramid on a piece of paper. And on that pyramid, I wrote down all the things I was afraid of, and then systematically confronted them one by one to get desensitization. The, the final fear was a fear of violent confrontation. This happened over a period of years. So I decided to become a nightclub doorman just to confront my fears. <laughs> It was during that time, I was this big doorman, I was about 16 stone, and I could have a fight. I'd got all the kind of war paint, and I'd got all this armor, this layers of muscle and this armor and this badges of battle, and I thought I was a really tough guy. <clears throat> and then someone burgled my house. The police said, the stuff will be, will be sold within 48 hours, you'll never see it. Um, the, all the lads on the door said you'll never see it, but I decided that I, I was going to get it back and I said I'll get it back within a week. The obsessive nature in which he tries to clear up something and by doing that, even though we, we believe that he's doing something right, he's trying to, to get what was taken from him. Um, the fact that we can understand that and empathise with that, it's, it's the self-destruction the, the, you know, the, that he drags himself into. I'm not going to tell you that the, the, the details of it because it would be a spoiler but it, it was very interesting how I found out who'd stole it and the, the whole dynamic about it and then I got in touch with them and said to them I, I recognise that for you this is a job but for me it's personal and I am going to respond. It's very interesting that it's a, a, a film predominantly about violence and a man using violence but at the at the end of the day how useless that violence is and how lost that man is and how afraid that man is. During that time my life went on hold. My relationship with my wife was like that because you know because I was going out risking my life for what amounted to a bit of tat. Every day you read papers of, of young men dying for, for absolutely no reason except for situations very much like this. I think I must have went through all nine circles of hell. But at the end of it, it felt like um, I'd been dragged around by my ego for a week and nearly lost everything in my life because of it. I've never seen anybody ever who's had the house burgled who actually went out and got their stuff back. So that was the first thing. Obviously, when I wrote Watch My Back, I just wrote about all the incidents that happened to me. Over the years of knowing Paul and Ludwig and Jeff, um, we have a, a very unique understanding of each other, which is rare to find in people. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been 19 years since my last confession. It's not about, uh, again, ticking boxes. Um, what, we, what we do here is completely creative and is passionate. It's it's extraordinary to meet people like um, the Shamassians and Jeff who create beautiful pieces of work and they are breaking boundaries in everything they do. It 
it's a unique team of passionate creatives and uh, and I think that's the, the only way you can make film to be honest. I've had a great relationship with Paul Ludwig for a long time now and these are going to be great directors and I knew it not just because of their eye and because of their sensitivity and their sensibility but because of their drive. It's all about drive. You know, if you move, the universe responds. If you sit on your ass, nothing happens. So I'm always inspired by that. I think it's it's really important to support British uh, filmmakers because if we don't support filmmakers and scriptwriters that are, that are coming through, then it's n not good for our industry. These This is the new generation, and these guys will go on to make, believe me, they'll go on to make big, big movies. So do what you can. I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm.